hey, I, I didn't didn't know you guys would be here, of all places. You just what are you doing? Going going for a walk or something? Yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt. It's a, it's the same day. Why why would I why would I change clothes for? That doesn't make any sense. Why, why would I? Why would I change clothes? Yeah, I'm batch recording. Is, is, is batch recording illegal now? Like, what do you mean? Oh, you're batch record. Yes, I'm batch recording. Jesus. Um, but you know, like, leave me alone about it. Don't don't be a jerk about it. Anyway, let's let's go for a walk again in the same park because you guys are following me or whatever now, I guess. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll scroll on some, on TikTok or something. Okay, but seriously, today we're talking about the small rig 120B. And, oh man. See, first it's you guys, and now my wife found me too. Like, like, come on. Why, why are you guys following me around? What's up? So, uh, yeah, today we're talking about the small rig RC120B. How do, how do you like it? That's the new fancy light, right? Yeah, it's the new fancy light, the, the one that we use for your YouTube. Um, I loved it. It was really easy to set It was so easy to set up. It was so what? Easy to set up. It cut like two thirds of the time off of setup time. It cut two, two thirds. That's a lot of the time. That's a lot of time. <laughs> two whole thirds. Yes, it was significantly simpler. But, but like, why though? Um, because it was basically a uh, pull it out, set it up, throw the umbrella on it. I mean, it wasn't three or four steps to attach stuff, and the settings are pretty simple. And yeah, it's just fast. Well, you heard it. It's just fast. It's portable, it's light, and it's super freaking simple to use. And not to mention the build quality is absolutely fucking amazing. My first reason for saying that the RC120B is the best light, hands down, unless someone else wants to prove me wrong, is because of its portability. Even though it is a full-sized 120 watt light, it is super freaking compact. It's about the size of a, what would you say, like a, a milk carton? Super small. Yeah, it's about right. It's about the size of a milk carton. It is absolutely tiny. And I've gotten it into places like her little salon suite that I couldn't get any other light into at all, especially not with a 36 inch softbox on it. It is absolutely bananas how small this light is. It also has like this really nice carry handle that is probably not for carrying. It's probably for adjusting the light, but I use it to carry it. I got big hands. Like I, I, I carry the entire light in. <laughs> The bag that it comes with, I forgot to mention, it comes with a bag. Oh yeah, super cool bag. Really well made. I'm a nerd about that. Name another light that comes with a really nice bag. Like a really nice bag that's not an Aperture, you know, 600D that's going to cost you a thousand dollars. Name one. Just one. Ugh, sun shields on. <laughs> uh, I don't need a shield, I have bangs. I don't have those. <laughs> I, I got a, a hat about all I got is a hat and sometimes sunglasses yeah but uh yeah the, the the next thing I want to talk about is the fact that the B and RC 120 B doesn't stand for bad or bazinga it stands for bicolor and I promise you this is the brightest bicolor light that I have had personally in a long time like you can ask her it about blinded her 30 times. It is bright. I, I don't think I've gone past using it at about 15 or 16% once since we bought it. And that was really surprising because even though it's a 120 watt light, the 120 watts is more about the light bulb equivalent and not saying it uses 120 watts of power. So if you had a LED that uses 120 watts of power, 
it'd be way brighter. But for a 120 watt incandescent light bulb, this is brighter than that. They definitely underrated their rating on the side of the dang light by a lot. The next thing I want to talk about is going to be CRI or color replication index. That is super important when it comes to lights because you want good skin tones. Like see, see this, see this, that, that's what you want. You don't want everyone to look green or purple or blue or however they end up looking when you have just regular, what's the word? What's the word I like to use? What, what's the word? Don't you don't know. Practical lights. Practical lights suck. Oh, they make, yeah. you say that all the time. <laughs> they make everybody look like garbage. They do, they have like a, a 20 plus CRI and the wind is going to murder me. Waiting for the wind to go. Oh crap, I said when to go. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, it has a 95 plus CRI, which means that it's going to replicate colors really, really well. And like you saw two videos ago, it did a dang good job. Holy oh, let's turn that down. Okay, second to last thing here. The, all of the small rig gear always has wonderful, build quality. It's almost, if not better, than a lot of the Edelkrona and other big names that are way, 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 way more big when it comes to use in the professional videography and photography world. But Small Rig surprised me with this one. They really did. The fact that it has fully aluminum build and has giant heat sinks and all of that I'm really, I'm really, really surprised and I really enjoyed it. It definitely made me feel like I had a premium quality product. And also I'm not worried about it like cracking or falling apart. Like even some of the aperture gear is just so plasticky and not all that good when it comes to build quality. But everything fit well, everything felt really nice. She hasn't touched the light, but she looked at it and she thinks, she thinks I'm bothering her too much. So <laughs> I guess last but not least, we'll talk about the fact that even though it uses an XLR power adapter for its wall power, Small Rig still sells a V-mount adapter. And yes, I know I talk about V-mount a lot, but I really do like when you can power everything up with one type of battery. And I guess all that's left is B-roll. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed my very silly time out here at the park talking about the RC120B. Hope you enjoyed the B-roll and I'm out of here. Peace.